Nam the Kano to finally be released. Nigerians in shock as federal government finally drops surprising statements. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for late stopping by. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The administration of President Bola Metinubu is reportedly facing significant pressure to release Mazen Namdi Kanu. Namdi Kanu is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo. According to Niger News, Kanu has been in federal custody since June 2021, following his extradited from Kenya. Government sources suggest that his release may be forthcoming, although the specific conditions have not been made public. The presidency did not provide any comment on the situation when approached for a statement last night. Insiders from the presidency indicated to Daily Post that leaders from the Southeast geopolitical zone have the right to request presidential intervention regarding Kano's case. Political figures from the region have ramped up their lobbying efforts in recent weeks, engaging in numerous meetings and public appeals to the government to advocate for Kano's release. This growing pressure from regional leaders, regardless of their political affiliations, has united both the lawmakers and executives from the five states in the area as they seek a political resolution to the ongoing crisis, which has triggered economic and social distress in the Southeast region. The situation has led to significant loss of lives, particularly since IPOP initiated a sit-at-home order on Mondays, enforced by his parliamentary group, the Eastern Security Network, ESN. The federal government, through the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, and the Minister of Justice has refrained from revealing any plans regarding Kano, citing that discussing the matter would be in inappropriate at the stage. However, it has been reported that the governors of the five states are expected to meet with the president soon to formally present their resolutions on this very, very issue. During a meeting on July 2nd, attended by governors Hobu Zodima of Imo State, Ales Oti of Abia, Chukuma Soludo of Anambra, Francis Mwafuro of Eboin, and Peter Mba of Enugu State, it was agreed to engage with the federal government to facilitate Kano's release. The following day, senators from the region under the Senate, under the Southeast Caucus of the Senate, also met with the AGF. Their leader, Senator Enyin Naya Abaribe, disclosed that, in addition to advocating for Kano's release, the Caucus submitted the hard fight letter to President Tinubu. Abaribe emphasized that the ongoing social and economic turmoil in the Southeast would persist unless Kano is released, representing uh, expressing concerns that his peaceful demands have been overshadowed by criminal elements, resulting in the uh, tragic loss of innocent lives, including those of security personnel. So, guys. This is this now. And uh, a record that it was also reported that yesterday some delegates from the UN, you understand, uh, invaded the DSS custody, you know, asking questions about Mazen and the Kano, why the DSS have continued, you know, to disobey court orders, refusing Mazen and the Kano's lawyers and uh, his medical and all that. So the case is already gaining international uh, intention, you know. So Nigerian governments right now do not have any any reason to keep keeping Mazenam the canal the gates because they know that this case is going to you know cost Nigeria government a lot if they do otherwise. 
And maybe the Southeasterners, you know, might also make uh, some uh, uh, difficult uh, decisions if President Bola Maitinubu do otherwise. So you see, Nigerian government is now in a very tight corner. Uh, so they have no option rather to release in Namdi Kano or conditionally. Well, I'm dropping it here. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians, you know, understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.